Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Project 981. Now I've pretty much finished my winter jobs for this year but the last big one I want to do is just to wipe down the interior of the cabin to get on top of all the dirt and grime. So being a convertible, the Boxster with the roof down is a great fun car to drive but it does pick up a little, of, little bit of atmospheric dirt and grime just gets sucked in as you move through the air. So once a year it's nice to just wipe that out of the, the fabrics, the materials inside it just to keep on top of it, keep the interior looking superb. This being the GTS trim, or spec, trim spec, uh, it has a mixture of materials in here. We've got the Alcantara, uh, we've got leather, we've got a man-made carpet and the trim that goes with that, some hard plastics as well. So there's a few different materials to clean, but all of them are fairly easy to do, and I'll take you through that. Otherwise, that's pretty much it, actually. So it's just a, a cleaning job. I have done the seats already I've done the steering wheel already when I bought the car it was filthy oils from the finger from your fingers and hands getting on the wheel so I've cleaned the wheel so it's mainly focusing on the carpet trim today but I will just want run a cloth over the leather too and put some conditioner on that so I'll show you what the products I'm going to be using for that are and we'll get stuck in so I mentioned the interior has a variety of different fabrics materials let's have a quick look at what those are so this is a standard GTS trim interior which is to say if you didn't tick any options or pay for anything different this is what you got from the factory so it has the leather uh, finish on the upper part of the dashboard it has the uh, chrome finish the silver chrome finish which is plastic uh, through the middle and then beneath that and largely speaking beneath sort of the hip height uh, around the car is is Alcantara now Alcantara is actually nothing to do with leather at all. It has the appearance of suede uh, or nubuck possibly, but it's actually a synthetic, it's a man-made fibre. Alcantara is a brand name. So it is uh, a little bit easier to clean than you might think, assuming it was uh, an animal product, it's not. So on the seats, for example, we have a mixture of the leather bolsters with their lovely stitching and the Alcantara centre. And I've actually cleaned these already a good way you can tell whether the Alcantara is clean is if it will take a, you can brush the pile up, which tells that the fibres are still uh, easy, happy to separate and, and nice and clean. So we've got a mixture of leather, which is obviously uh, an animal product, Alcantara, which is a th synthetic fabric. For the mats and the trim around here, that's, I'm guessing it's probably some kind of nylon, polyester, polypropylene possibly. Um, which is fairly durable. And then there's the occasional bit of hard plastic, uh, poly, which is polypropylene probably. Various bits of that. And then there's some rubber as well. I'm not gonna worry about rubber on the trim. That's a job for another day. So that is the mixture of materials we're dealing with. As I say, we've got some different cleaners to use on those surfaces. Now I have done the mats previously, but I'm gonna focus on uh, wiping down the leather which is pretty clean and then I'm going to clean the Alcantara and the trim and I'll come back and condition the leather. So let's crack on. So here's my cleaning lineup. For the Alcantara I'm using uh, this stuff which is by Koch in Kemi, Koch Industries, uh, billed as a textile leather and Alcantara cleaner no less. So that is diluted down into just a sprayer with uh, stylish down with some uh, some water into a sprayer so that's good for the Alcantara for the leather and I should say there's lots of different products available so don't take these as gospel I'm using uh, Gliptone's gentle cleaner which is really nice and quick to use sort of uh, lifts off surface dirt without any trouble at all and then actually to then treat the leather afterwards the GT11 leather cleaner leather conditioner I should say uh, like many other products, a cream that just puts a bit of moisture and suppleness back into the leather. Um, any plastics in the cabin, I tend to use uh, a citrus cleaner. This is G-Technics and in fact that gets diluted down into a, there's my driveway, spray bottle as well. You can see it's got a bit of a reasonably strong concentration to do the work. Um, the brush is for the Alcantara to lift the pile, but actually I'm some bits of the cabin I'm going to use a microfiber cloth and specifically I'm going to be using a white 
microfiber cloth. Uh, so you can see the dirt. So literally, uh, it's not doing very well in exposure there, is it? So that you can literally uh, see what grime you're lifting off um, the fabrics, the carpet, the trim as you go. Um, for the leather, any old microfiber cloth will do, um, both to apply the cleaner and then to apply the conditioner. Um, similarly for the um, for the citrus citrus cleaner, it doesn't really matter what you use. So the key thing is uh, a brush for the Alcantara. And if you can get hold of them, quite hard to come by, but they are available, uh, some white microfiber cloths. And that little lot is pretty much everything I need. passenger side complete and it's gone really well actually um, I've done the seat belt which I've just put a clip on so it stays out so it dries just just with the citrus cleaner on that uh, move the seat back forward upside down what have you um, I've done under the rails which you wouldn't be able to see which is good I'd say I've done the Alcantara squabs before but I have just wiped down the leather and actually you can tell generally when the leather is clean because it it, it gets back a, a more satin or matte finish um, when leather is shiny it's the oils from our fingers and hands that are making the leather shiny so when you wipe the oils off it gets that lovely smooth matte finish on it uh, and these are looking pretty good so I'm pleased with that the Alcantara um, has cleaned up nicely and you can probably see from the time lapse I spent a bit of time on the door card and specifically on the handle because of course people put their hands around the back so you want to get all the grime off the back of here um, which will be slightly more soiled than perhaps here which you very rarely touch so just a bit of time there um, clean the leather at the top that, that often gets a hand or an elbow or if it's a sunny day a, a bare arm with some sun cream so just taking the, the grease out the top of that but otherwise pretty good it's worth saying at this point of course when you're spraying cleaner on a, into the car you're actually adding water you're adding moisture to the interior so you might have seen me I did spray a little bit directly onto the carpet but generally it's best to spray it onto the cloth and then um, apply the cloth to the fabric you don't want to put too much moisture into the car so that is that side done I shall now repeat on the other side driver side is now complete too so that means the leather is all done the Alcantara is done and the carpets and trim are done so my next job is to go back over the Alcantara with my brush and just lift that pile then I'm going to run a cloth back over the leather just to take the any shine off it and then finally give the car a bit of a hoover inside um, I haven't done the pedals today I'm going to do another another video on the pedals so keep an eye out for that bit of a cheeky hack coming up on those um, but yeah otherwise pretty good and actually the uh, oh there's the tripod I uh, will just show you the cloth that I used for which is now on my wash pile so this is the cloth I used to put the leather cream on and you can see that even that has picked up some dirt effectively clean more of the leather this actually came from the panels where your 
legs rest against the center console so those were quite grubby too so yeah cleaning definitely worth doing if you want to keep your car in ship shape or indeed car shape so i'm going to use my brush it's kind of an alcantara brush leather brush alcantara brush um, reasonably firm you want you want a bit of stiffness to the brush to get the pile up uh, on the alcantara that i've earlier done it'll still be a little bit damp but it's worth just doing now um, you can already see that it's responding well uh, there are a couple of places where i should use my trusty toothbrush uh, which has actually been used it's quite soft and um, that will just get in a couple of the little edges here for example um, down some of the trim bits as well it doesn't really need doing but i like doing it properly so the next job is to go around all the alcantara that i did earlier and then uh, on the carpet trim i'm just gonna there's no need to brush that there's no pile to lift really i'll just give that a bit of a hoover later as well so i'll crack on now and do my alcantara so the alcantara has now been brushed and yeah that's come up pretty well I and mean, you can see on the seat that's um sort of pattern you expect uh, a bit of pile uh, we've got a bit of there we go you can see that but there so that's nice that's all good and i've also gone around and taken the sheen off the leather what the sort of overspray off as it were where the conditioning cream got on the plastic and i'm really chuffed with that actually the whole interior is looking bang on we've even got a nice by the way this is a little hint actually you should be able to see pile on your gear stick if you've got the manual same with the steering wheel really it shouldn't be hard it should be soft which is where it gets its grip from so there we go i have also reinstated i bought a new one of those and reinstated that so that's gone in and uh yeah just give the car a quick hoover so i reckon that is largely done i've got the pedals to do that'll be another video keep an eye out for that but that is the gcs interior looking pretty smart so the job's done i finished brushing down the alcantara we've done the leather we've done the carpet and the trim put a new trim piece back in brushed everything hoovered everything and it's come up really well this car's done 50,000 miles and i reckon that's pretty much 50,000 miles worth of gunk coming out there so i'm really chuffed with how well it's come up um, and we're pretty much set now for summer 2024 i've got one more thing to do which will be the pedals i'll do a separate video for that show you that uh, in due course but for now gcs pretty much ready for the summer next big jobs are going to be mechanical uh, big service brakes potentially new clutch so we need to save up for all that but otherwise for the moment thank you for watching if you've enjoyed that please give us a like and if you've enjoyed it and the series do subscribe if you've got any questions or spot anything i've done wrong or would like any advice on please do comment very happy to come back to you on that in the meantime thank you for watching see you next time